When you change clubs, you bring your prior knowledge to the table. And if it doesn't align with what that, the way the new club wants to play, under pressure, you go back to your old habits. So under duress, people go back to what they did before. That's a natural way of doing it. And it takes a while to break that. The more experience you have, the harder it is. Kids, kids learn languages faster because they don't have a language laid down. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of really interesting data around this, um, around people learning new skills. And if you teach them in the right way and they haven't done it before, they'll learn faster than somebody trying to change a skill. So that's one thing we're trying to measure. The other thing we're measuring is understanding between people. You know, how long have you played together? How long have you played together in this position? So you've also got understanding of your role. So there's this kind of like, um, this is almost this anthropology of these teams that is mixing in with all three. And one of the things, for example, is in the AFL, midfielders find it harder to transfer clubs than full forwards. Why? Because the posts are the same at every club. You know, you're dealing with the opposition, you're dealing with the posts, people are giving you the ball. Whereas if you're a midfielder, you're just dealing with interrelationships all the time. The other thing that's really interesting is, is that if somebody comes across to another organisation, one of two things happen. They adapt themselves, but if they adapt, they're going to underperform. Or they try to make everyone else around them adapt. And if that happens, everyone else underperforms. Now, there's, it's, there's really interesting, in, from our perspective, in terms of what's better and what's worse.